Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and Richard and Gracie and Louie. Welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. We are going to head inside to the Lebanon. We are in Lebanon. Oh, I almost said it again. We are in Lebanon. Thank you. Uh, Ohio at the Peddler's Mall. We're going to get inside, check it out. Let's do it. Is y'all, it's next to this Vance Outdoors. Lord, okay, let's get inside. It's chilly. So here's kind of like a quick panorama. It is a larger place. There's, you know, I think that the name really sums it up. So you've got vintage, you've got some antiques, you've got contemporary. Um, I will say, overall, it doesn't really give you a, one of those flea markety feels. It's definitely a bit of a nicer peddler mall. I, well, when you think about it, I know a lot of people are wondering if he needs to go out. Oh, do we? Maybe we should do that. A potty break first. Okay, so as I was saying, um, this place definitely doesn't have the flea market feel. I think that a lot of similar places have. So if you're in the area, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, oh, we're looking at more glass. Watch out. <laughs> we can go look at some DVDs, maybe. That's different. Lately, Richard and I have been watching I Love Lucy. So I'm seeing the Lucy Barbie dolls. There's one here. I am loving this Lucy gets into pictures one. The facial expression is on point. I'm kind of tempted, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, and look at down here, we got some Cabbage Patch Kids. This one is a talking kid. And over here, we have got a Splashin' Kids. It's made out of soft vinyl, so you could take them into the bathtub. That one's at 50. So Richard is getting us a car. So Lucy's right there, we're gonna get Lucy. Um, but as you can see, just so you can kind of get an overall feel of the vendor spaces, they're a little bit more well thought out than a lot of times you experience in similar places. So I can appreciate that. Clearly not everything is gonna be for us and that is okay. Um, but like I say, I think when you think about like the vendor malls, the peddler malls, um, they can they can be a little eh, flea market like. So it is nice to come into one where there's a wide variety, new, old, vintage, antique, and see things pulled together a little bit nicer. Now I do see that one's pretty. It's 18, not bad. I like the pattern on it. Mm. Don't see much of anything else for us though. Nine people here at the Peddler Mall suggested just use one of the cards. Just use a card. We don't care. We appreciate that. They're dog loving here. So we're going to try it, see how it goes. Louis will let us know momentarily whether or not <laughs> he will definitely let us know if he's feeling it or not. Um, with Gracie in there. Oh, this is pretty. Clearly, like, newer, contemporary, but I like the look of it. Let's see here. Some Pyrax. I do like the figural lamps. They're kind of like in a Dresden style. Not going to get them, but it's something I like. I don't know why. What did you find? A uh, pedestal dish, but it looks the same as my punch bowl. Uh-huh. And I don't remember the name of the maker on it. Cut glass. I believe it was, it was Dugan, good. if I'm remembering correctly. So we're going to see if we can get a pattern match on this, and we'll be right back. I thought we had Dugan. It's Duncan Miller. Early American pressed glass. $12. Is it worth the $12 to you? That's the question. Does it match the punch bowl? I believe it does, yeah. Do you want me to see? Well... I don't, th even if they weren't identical, I think it'll match. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got Lucy and a compote. <laughs> and very well behaved babies. I see another pink box Barbie. Ooh, bubbling. She's a bubbler. Um, they've got her at 30, which is really fair for this one, especially the condition of the box. Um, you know, Barbie is still having her year. 
Uh, it's a few dollars below retail, so I'm not gonna pick her up because there's just not enough room on her, but it's cool to see her. Found something. That one's not horrible. The painting is, I kinda like the painting. Mm-hmm. It almost has a deco feel. It looks like it probably is late Art Nouveau, and they're entering into the Art Deco era with more angular shapes to it. Very simple on the back. Pretty deep craze on it, which is not unheard of. 1800s. It's probably late. Ooh. Who is it? Let me see. Royal Watina. Watina. Austrian hand-painted base, 25. I mean, if you are just in love with it, go for it. I like the ones that we have that are a bit more, okay. I think, intricate. No, I mean, I like if, this a lot. I don't know that I love that. Yeah, but at twenty-five, I think overall condition, you know, it's a good one. Oh wait, don't laugh at me, but I want. I'm gonna get this. It's something else. It's a dollar fifty. I really want to read it. We're gonna do it. <laughs> Doesn't that match a coffee pot that you like? Mm -hmm. That's that pretty. Can we see it? I love the colors in that. Yeah, that's an old one, isn't it? Twelve ninety-five Royal Worcester. Mm -hmm. Yeesh. It's got a little bit of wear, but it's. I think that's really pretty. Let's see if we can get a comp on it. Uh, a little bit of discoloration. Let's see. We did get a comp on it, 25. Um, so I'm not gonna, Richard pointed out, you know, it did have some sitting water in there to cause discoloration. I still think it's an absolutely beautiful uh, piece. They made a number of different serving pieces as well as a percolator. Oh, a waffle iron. A waffle, percolator. oh yeah, the they waffle have, iron, I remember. Yeah. Set. So I'm going to leave that one behind, sadly, but that is this, pretty. You see the whole set together is really pretty. Really pretty. Individually, they're nice. But I almost found you the percolator, remember? But it was there was some damage to it. Oh, look at the peacock pitcher. Oh, I kind of like that ginger jar behind it. It's got like an M.A. Hadley look to it. Almost, is it Portuguese or Italian? That's lovely. Italian. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that one. 16. Is it really? I like that too. Some crazy, but I like the crazy on it. Isn't that lovely? 16? Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Wait, how is the lid? I don't really want to. I think that's original. It's well, It has wear to it, but it's not chipped up. Can I see the front again? That is really pretty. Let's get it. Yeah. Here's the, uh, oh yeah, the transfer peacock. Is it Austrian? It doesn't say. Bavaria. Bavaria. Yeah. 15. The, what's that one? You see the blue violet, or I don't, no, I don't like it. I changed my, <laughs> Vintage. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Charlotte's Web, the book. Oh, yeah. How much is that one? I think I have that one upstairs. Although this is, I've got paperback. This is hardback. Where are you supposed to put me those? It's one of those spots. Is it on the back? Six. No. I'm going to stick with Little House. <clears throat> um, I did spot this little figurine. I don't know. It had an Henri. Oh, no, it's not. Dolphy? Yeah, I'm going to leave it. He's a little... Richard spotted this giant perfume bottle. That one's at 99. Giorgio. So Armani. 
It's a display bottle for our money. Our money. We're going to leave that there for a hundred. Bowers Old Fashioned Creamy Mints. Nine dollars. We've got a lot of tins down there. Mm-hmm. That's got a good look, good color. A lot of tins. <laughs> <laughs> look at this weird thing. This cat, almost like a poochie print. It's nineteen. No. Yeah. No. Is that brand new? Sixty-nine dollars. And it was from who? Ballard. Ballard. Mm -hmm. They got it at 19 here. I think that's a great piece for table setting. Cool. Cultural. (laughs) Cultural. I saw these. These are pretty. I think that's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, Fitz and Floyd. 24 for the set. Do y'all remember the little brown bag? Four dollars, the Bloomingdale's. It's a little keychain. That was so 80s. <laughs> Think we're being all cute and everything. At four dollars, we'll get it. They sell for about 25 to 30 bucks, so I'll take it. Why not? Apparently we're getting this Ballard design. Yeah. Ooh, look at her. I Truthfully, we have two, and I'm going to be honest, I like my figures a lot better, though I do love her branches and leaves more. The figurine is too chunky, 625. Um, I like them, like this should be papery thin to me. It's not a bad design. This sculpt's a little soft. So cool to see, but we're going to leave that one. Gracie's been given a little attitude here lately. When she doesn't know what's going on, she starts... Now I see these. It's got like a mercury glass effect to it with the crackle glass. That's at $21.99, aren't they though? It's like fun, but sophisticated. It is. I wonder, can we get a comp on that? Let's see. You, apparently these, thanks to TikTok, you can find them at TJ Maxx or could find them at TJ Maxx. They're really cool to see, but not a lot of resale value, so we'll leave that behind. I do see this contemporary blown mushroom ornament, which is adorable. That's only $6.50. I'm not mad at that, though. So up front here, they do have some cases. I got another cart because we were filling it up, and obviously Louie and Gracie, they're riding in style. So, let's see. I saw these pigs over here. Kitties, critters, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. 36. Hmm. Evocative. Anything good? No. Um... Yeah, I'm not overly in love. It's a, it's a very mixed booth. I mean, you've got like the garage, the antiques, and you jump over into the ooh, chartreuse ceramic eggs. Mm-hmm. That could be really cute. Could be. God That's love it. Knowledge. Really gonna try to make it happen. You added some of the green moss. You could do a whole Easter little... Be a look. Mm -hmm. You know, I would honestly, if you were going to do it, be tempted to do like a pastel milk glass, like a turquoise or a pink. Contrast it with the green. If you, if I would go all in on them. Yeah. I'm not excited. About this either. No. So sleepy. Hey, Bert. Hey. hey. These almost look interesting. Little darning girls. 
Oh, who is it? Ah. Oh my god, look at the feet. That is a sweet wish. $38. Back you go, lady. There is even the liquor bottle lamps here for you. Yeah. Cat's got personality. Uh, with the repaired ear blast. Looks Italian. No, it doesn't. Ooh, on the cheese. Lord, that scurry. Mmm. Tin warning. Um, this is so cute, this little bud fit. Oh, it's only 20. It's, I love this. The violets in the snow. Oh, it's such a pretty little, oh. Kim Blake, I'm gonna get it, Miss Kim Blake, get it. See this angel over here too. I love that velvet rose with the pink. That one's 25. What did you find? Is it missing something? It would have had gold, very thin gold, like branches and oh, stems. Yeah, you can see it right there. Mm -hmm. It's $8. You put the gold back on, it'd be really pretty. A little bit of green. Are you volunteering to put the gold back on, sir? If I knew what kind of paint. Well, we can get you the paint. Mm. We can get you the paint now. I got the brushes for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be. It's organic. Nothing in nature is perfect. <laughs> you look like an earthquake. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay. It's a little of the old marigold. Mm, not at 25, though. Uh, Let's check on her. This is spot on. So 25, not enough for me. Very fair in their pricing. Richard has spotted a calla lily, art glass vase. Not signed though. Let's see. Them for 30, but here's the other thing. People are listing it as Murano style and then they throw a $100 price point onto it. Strange. I can see that in your collection. Yeah, it's pretty. I like the enameling on it. Nine dollars. Does it need a stopper? Probably. Oh yeah, it's ground for one. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you check that vase price for me? Right here? Yes, sir. $29.95. Hmm. What is that sticker on it? I've never seen that sticker before. Let's check this. Right on point. Right on point. I respect that. I mean, they're not like out here charging crazy prices for stuff. They are right on point with their online counterpart. So... All right, we'll move on. It's called fashion. Just, there it is. Richard found a footed bull. Mm -hmm. And I, it is a lot of That's, these. It feels. Sharp. Here, right, yeah. It's cut. We're just. It's not like a high quality. I don't it looks know. Like a I production piece, but it doesn't look flash to me. No. Let's, do you want to count it? Fifty. Are we getting this? It's really pretty for some reason. So that's yeah. I want it. It's fifteen. Okay. Hmm. Nah. Where we're at with it. No. What's that? Contemporary macrame. It's a big keychain. Nothing there. Uh, 
Uh, those toys look contemporary. Not overly in love. I mean, there is the Jack and Pulpit. 50. Ooh, okay. Ooh, we just saw this. It was listed at an auction. Clearly, we are not at an auction. Ah, sliding on me. Gracie. There's an old typewriter. Doesn't look like it works, though. All about the vintage Barbies today, y'all. Here is the Hart family. Oosh. In their original box, looking their best. 75 bucks for that. There's a baby cousin, 20. Don't pass up on those vintage Barbies. Look at this, it's pretty. It's $80. Look at how the size on that. Ooh, I love that sheen. Love it. Match their Rose Villas, 70. I actually like this one a lot, 55. Chip on bottom. Well, of course there is. I mean, that's not horrible. I love that. So pretty, that arts and craftsman style. Mark my words, I have a feeling this stylistically, arts and craftsmen specifically, I think that's that's gonna make a comeback. I think we see like a lot of that farmhouse stuff. So it's a departure from it. Um, it's like, it's a more evolved. So that way everybody that's invested so heavily into that farmhouse, they can stylistically get a different look without having to reinvent the wheel. And I think that is going to really help drive that look. Just an idea, a thought, maybe. Let's see here. I feel like I've gotten stuff out of this booth before. I could be wrong. I don't know. Look at him. <laughs> now I have like two of those, three of those. Wheel. Nuffin today though, Nuffin today. So we have one, two, this one's got more of like a cat eye. Ooh, ooh, that's heavy. Oh, it's like a marble quartz. That's pretty though. Look at that. Like the tiger. They're $35. It says it's a... Uh, Selenite ball sphere and stand for 35. Again, they have two. Oh, there's like a very Art Deco kind of version of it. I like that. I think those are neat. Look at. Whoa, that looks so cool. It looks like there's light going up and down in it. Oh gosh, yeah, it is. It's from Superman's planet. Cool. Ooh. Cicada, scorpion, stick bug. I have a scorpion. I don't have a stick bug, but look at him. Lovely specimen. That one's been glued. Mm, 50, 450. Mm. Honestly, I feel like that's a little steep, especially given the frame and the glue down. That's just me. 3650, beautiful piece of empoli here. A darker amber with a twist pedestal. That's a lovely piece. I'm not mad at that price, but not where I need it to be. So we're gonna have to leave that one behind. Look at this Roly. Oh, he's brilliant. Believe a contemporary made to look old, but what a gr oh, Actually, he's beaded together with chenille. Mm. 
Yeah, I do think he is new though. I was looking at this, which got me in it. I was thinking, oh, there's another Charlotte's Web. How much is that one? And the Secret Garden. How much is that one? Here, open it, though. You know, I don't want to spend any. Stuart Little. Story of 100 years. I'm going to assume it's Lady Liberty. Let's bend down here, even though I can barely get down. Thirty-nine fifty. War with Austria. Mm, all kinds of facts, figures. Few illustrations. I want to see it jam-packed with illustrations, so I'm gonna leave it here, though. They're putti. Italian, specifically boys, usually cherubs. Oh, those are nice. 32. Candlesticks? No, it's I awfully narrow. Glass? They made their own candles. I could see a glass horn going in there. Yeah. Mm, let me see that. Oh, I like that pose. Oh, that's a little girl one. Mm -hmm. I don't need them. This one has a crack on the back, but they're pot metal. Pretty typical of you. Did you see this was a serpent coming around? Or dolphin? I don't know. Oh, they are dolphins. Yeah. So they're little nymphies. Do How much? Do you want to check on it? 32. Do you want to check? I don't think they offer do offers here. Let me see if I can get a comp on them. I didn't because it's bringing up all kinds of other metal things. But I mean, at 16 bucks each, yeah, there are porpoises. So they're little nymphs, not cherubs. Clearly, the screw's been replaced. Has that one on the back? Oh. No. That one's original. Well, that's okay. We'll do it for what, 16? Mm -hmm. Okay. He is again. There's a little tawny lion from Golden Books. It's the tawny lion. That would be great for a Golden Book collector. Weston Publishing Company, 1972. Play Pal Plastics. Let's see. 530 is what I'm seeing online, so definitely a deal, but just not enough room for me to kind of warrant getting him, though. I think that would be great for a Golden Book collector. What did you... No, the one on top. This one. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was wondering what that Something called like an Eve vase or something. I forgot. Mm -hmm. I like that rose. This one. 45. 45. Pretty. Well, let me see that. Jeez. Hall. Oh. <laughs> this looks damaged to me. Something's wrong with it. Cool. Well, we are almost at the end here. So this is the last aisle, aisle number nine. So if we don't find anything else, we'll do the wrap up here in just a second. We did just spot these. Well, Richard spotted that Silvercrest van base back there. It is. 48. 48. Mm. I spotted these. Look, it's 15 for the set. She's got her little rag doll hiding back there. <gasps> Look at them. Let's get those. Alrighty guys, well there you have today's Shop With Us video, of course, and oh, Louie has passed out finally. Uh, we hope that you guys have enjoyed the shopping trip here at the Peddler's Market in Lebanon, Ohio. As always, down in the comments, let us know what your favorite find or finds of the day was, or the item or items you wished I had the most. Um, let us know whichever, whatever, I don't know. 
put it down in the comments. We'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.